Welcome to Python tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Python program to find the reverse of a given number. Let us say that uh, the number is equal to 123. Initially, I will set uh, reverse is equal to 0. We need to uh, uh, repeat certain steps uh, if you want to convert a given number uh, into reverse of that particular number. So first what we need to do is uh, we need to get uh, the individual digits and then uh, put those particular individual digits starting from uh, least significant uh, bit to most significant bit in the reverse order. So that is what the actual uh, scenario here. So I need to get this uh, 3. How to get uh, this particular number 3? I can do one thing. I can calculate the remainder of 123. So remainder of 123 with respect to 10 will be always equal to 3. Okay. So num mod 10 I will calculate. I will get uh, 3 here. So that is uh, the remainder. Now once you get this particular remainder, this is the first iteration. I will put that remainder into reverse. So reverse multiplied by 10. What is the value of reverse initially? 0. So 0 multiplied by 10 is equal to 0 only plus remainder that is 3. So it will become 3. Now I have done with 3. What I need to do is I need to get only the remaining two digits. What are they? 1 and 2. So how to get it? I can do one thing. I will take uh, the division operation on uh, uh, 1, 2, 3. So if I take one division that is 123 divided by 10, it is a floor division. Because of that, I will get only the integer part. Actually, uh, because normal division will give you 12.3, but uh, the floor division will give you only 12 here. So that is the output. So I am expecting only these two digits. So in the next iteration, I will repeat the same thing. That is uh, 12 mod 10, that is equivalent to 2. So now, when we get 2 here, I cannot put this particular 2 or I cannot uh, add this number directly to this uh, previous uh, reverse. If I add it to this one, it will become 5. So what I need to do is, I need to push this particular 3 to the next significant digit, that is uh, the 10th digit. Uh, 3 into 10, that is what I do, reverse multiplied by 10 plus remainder. So what is the remainder? To here. 3 into 10 is 30 plus 2, that is 32. Now, uh, from this particular 12, uh, I will get only what we can say that the next digit, that is 2. So, that can be done with once again uh, flow division. I will get 1 here. Now, 1 mod 10 is equal to 1. Uh, whatever the reverse number we got in the previous iteration, uh, we need to push it to the next significant digit by multiplying 10 and then add the remainder to it. We will get 321. Now, uh, final step, 1 divided by 10, that is flow division, which is equal to 0. Once the number becomes 0, we need to stop our uh, processing here. So, for that reason, uh, what I supposed to do is, uh, uh, I need to read one number. So, let us say that uh, a number is equal to int of, input of, uh, we can say that uh, enter the number. So, this is what actually I will do. Once the number is entered by the user, uh, it will be stored into number. I will store that particular number into a variable. You can say that uh, org. Uh, just for uh, uh, displaying at the later stage and then uh, I will take one variable let us say that reverse is equal to 0 so initially the reverse value is equal to 0 I will take a while loop uh, so that I can iterate uh, these uh, uh, three steps continuously while uh, number is greater than 0 I have supposed to do this particular task again and again so what I supposed to do initially first I need to calculate the remainder so remainder is equal to number mod you can say that 10 so that is the first thing I will do. So once you get the remainder, what is the next thing I need to do? Once you get the remainder, I need to calculate the reverse. So the reverse is equal to the reverse multiplied by 10. So initially reverse is 0, 0 multiplied by 10 is equal to 0 only plus remainder. So what is the remainder in the first case? Let us say that if number is 123, the remainder will be 3. So reverse will become only 3 in this case. Now what is the next thing? Uh, num is equal to num more, uh, divided by, that is a flow division by 10 in this case. Okay, so once you do this particular steps again and again, uh, end of the day we will be getting the reverse number because uh, just now I have explained the procedure. Finally, what we do is uh, we will print that particular reverse number. We can say that the reverse of, you uh, can say that original, that's the reason I have kept it into one uh, temporary variable. Original is, we uh, can say that this number, what is that? Uh, REV. So this is how actually we can calculate a reverse of a number. We just see the output. Uh, let us say that the number is 123. The reverse of 123 is uh, 3 to 1. So you can take any number here. Uh, if you want to execute with uh, 3 to 1, you'll be getting the reverse as 1 to 3. 
In this video, we have discussed how to write a Python program to find the reverse of a number. I hope the program is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.